Hello there, I'm going to show you how to clean your computer uh, using some of the simple tools that are available. Um, what I'm going to go over is what I'm going to use. What we're going to clean is the Java Cache, Disk Cleanup, Global Settings for Flash, Clean up the registry with AML, Free Registry Cleaner, do a scan using antivirus scan and malware bytes for malicious software. There are also two programs if you have pop-ups where you can't fix them that uh, I'll also touch base on. So first off to clean the Java cache you go to your control panel search for Java Java. Open that. And temporary internet files. I think it's advanced. Maybe it's here. Delete files. applications, all that. Delete them, yes, okay. It's working on it. Hit okay. And okay. There. That cleans out Java. Um, next is just our typical disk cleanup that is offered in every Windows version. You go to Start, Accessories, System Tools, Disk Cleanup. And it's going to calculate. Obviously this takes a minute. Once this calculates it's going to tell us what it can clean and how much of it it will get rid of. It tells you how many megs each thing is. Okay, there we go. Now it shows each one of the things and what size they are. So put a check mark next to the things you want to get rid of. Temporary files, thumbnails. Don't get rid of service pack backup files. That may be something you need. But make sure recycling bin is checked. And OK it. Go on permanently? Yes. That's done. Now I want to clean up the global settings for my flash so I open up I use Firefox but this will be with any browser you just do a simple search for global settings flash hit enter and manager 
global storage from Macromedia. Now you'll think that this box is on their website, but this is actually what what is on your computer. So select this folder. This is the website storage panel. You can see there's a lot of things here that are on my computer that they don't all make sense. So some hackers could use this as a back door. I read this on how to do this in uh, Popular Mechanics. So there's an option to delete all websites. Yes. Confirm. And they're all gone. Okay. Next thing. Clean out the registry. To clean out the registry, I use a program called AML Free Registry Cleaner. That brings up a, a blue program. It's got all kinds of options over here. Don't let all this confuse you. All we want to do is scan and clean the registry with this program. I always check for an update to the program. So I'm going to cancel out of the scan offer. I'm going to check for an update. Everything looks good. I'm just going to close that offer out. Go to scan now. And away it goes. Still working on it. It's all done. I found 204 errors of it's mainly invalid paths. Don't know what it all is, but it's not needed. So I'm going to fix all. sure I want to remove all. Yep. And there it goes. All done. Now I can close that out. And the next thing would be an antivirus scan. So open. I use a vast. It's always running so I can just open it here. <coughs> come over here to scan computer I'm just going to do a quick scan for the benefit of this video but uh, you should uh, have a regular scan scheduled you know full system scan I do it often enough I don't have one I don't have one scheduled uh, but I, I do this pretty often so just click start and it just runs I'll give this about a minute I'm just showing you showing you an example of how to use a vast I use a vast instead of AVG some people swear by AVG but I use a vast because it, it seems to not slow my computer down. 
I'm running Windows 7 with a quad core processor, 4 gig RAM. So I think it's a program. But I'm not going to find any viruses because I, I scan this regularly anyway. But you can see how it works. At the end, it asks you, do you want to get rid of them? You say yes, close out the program, and you're done. If you do use Avast, be sure to keep your real-time shields on. That way you don't have a lot of problems. I've got everything running, mail shield, web shield. Shows the activity as it's happening. So, this is a very good program. So, the scan is still working, but as I said, you know, th that was just an example. Now, Malware Bytes is for malicious software that just, I don't know, I don't know exactly where you pick it up from a bad email or bad website, but it happens. So, you install it. The, all this stuff I'm showing you is free software. So just Google it. I'll, I'll put it all up in the credits in the end of the video so you'll have reference. And you can just uh, you know Google it from there. So we're going to open up Malware Bytes. And it tells you how outdated it is. So we're going to update. Always want to update. Anytime you do a scan, so you get the latest and greatest definitions and protections. Successfully updated. Okay. Now I'll go to scanner. I'm just going to do a quick scan. And you will see, once it gets going, what it's doing. There's a lot of options. But it can, it's just very basic just for doing a simple scan and maintaining your computer. Again, you can do a quick scan or a full scan just like AVG, um, depending on how much time you have. Um, depends on which one you run. If I'm going to run to the store, you know, I'll bring up a vast and do a complete scan and then just turn my monitor off and then go to the store. By the time I get back, it's all scanned and tells me what it found. So just a little timing tip. But I'm not going to find anything on Malware Bytes either because I, I do have a blocker for this stuff. But I do run it on occasion, especially if something's messing up. So I'm going to exit out of that. Now, if you have pop-ups and things that um, keep you from getting to your start menu, what you want to use is a program called Rkill. I keep it on a thumb drive. I don't think I even have it. No, I don't. I keep it on a thumb drive and then boot that program off the thumb drive so that it stops all activities. I start up in safe mode and it stops all that so you can actually get to the antivirus run it and kill it uh, another good resource is Dr. Webb cure it um, it's a very good resource I don't have it installed so it's on my thumb drive that's another good one for figuring out what's going on when nothing else is making sense so the things I showed you how to do are maintenance but uh, if it's something you that beyond that, then you go to Dr. Web Cure It or Rkill, R K I L L, and it's all free programs and they work. So, hope I helped you. And um, if you have any questions, post them, and I'll help you as best I can.